Tighten some decade old murder mysteries. The Suffolk County Police Commissioner announces that he's forming a task force to get to the bottom of the Gilgo Beach murders. News 12's Christopher King is live in Gilgo Beach with reaction from the attorney of a family who says their loved one is a victim. Christopher. That's right. Tonight we speak with that lawyer. He says the family, he says the victim's remains were found along Gilgo Beach. He believes she was murdered. He believes this new task force will find answers. The family is uh, broken up uh, by this whole event. John Ray says the past decade has been tough for the family of Shannon Gilbert. Has been appallingly awful for the Gilbert family. Gilbert's remains were found along Gilgo Beach back in December of 2011. Shannon's death was consistent with homicide. The official cause of death undetermined. Authorities have said they don't believe Gilbert was murdered. However, now things, the ground has shifted. But Ray says Gilbert was one of the 10 victims in the Gilgo Beach serial killings. We're going to make sure that we use all of our resources to be identified, to be able to identify the individuals or individual that was involved uh, in this case and make sure we hold them accountable and bring them to justice. Rodney Harrison is the Suffolk County Police Commissioner. I'm very confident it's going to help us uh, identify a suspect going to the near future. Harrison put together the Gilgo Beach Task Force to solve the crimes. Utilize technology, use, utilize sciences, uh, cultivate uh, witnesses, uh, cast a, a broader net out. The task force will draw from Suffolk County Police, the DA's office, the FBI, and state police. The formation of the task force was an excellent idea. Ray says the task force should give Gilbert's family at least some answers. It's a first huge, perhaps even giant step forward in resolving all of these cases, including Shannon's. A $25,000 award for info that will lead them to a suspect. They ask you to call 1-800-220-TIPS. Live in Gilgo Beach, Christopher King, News 12, Long Island.